Welcome to Kitchen ABCs, supported by Runza. Now today we're gonna make something really cute. It'll be very easy and you can use your imagination. So we're gonna make penguins and snowmen. Now we're gonna start with penguins. Now what you will need for this recipe are some olives, okay? The kind that are pitted, ready to go. They have little holes in them, just like that. Okay, if you don't like olives, you could even use grapes. That would work out just as well. And then you'll need um, some string cheese. Okay, string cheese, very delicious. And some carrots. You can, these are carrot chips, but if you just have a regular carrot, you can cut those. And we will eventually need pretzels, okay? And um, some kind of toothpick to hold everything together. I also have food coloring, or you can use food markers. That'll work just as well. Okay, let's get started. So for our penguins, you're going to need two of these um, olives. And we'll get our toothpick out. And you're going to cut your chips and make a little, oh, they go shooting all over the place. Okay, so these will be our little feet for. Let cut our olive halfway, not all the way, because we want it just a little opening. And then we're gonna cut just a little piece off of our cheese. And we're gonna stick it right in there for the little white part, just like that. And we're gonna use our toothpick and stick it right in there. I hope everybody washed your hands because you're gonna need to have nice clean hands when you work with this. Make it so the hole is right in front. Just like that. And then you could use the little piece that you cut out of your um, carrot and stick it in. And there you go. Now you can do the same thing with a grape. Okay. We'll make our little cuts here. We'll put our, cut our grape and stick a little piece of cheese in there. Grapes and cheese taste delicious together too. Okay, just like that. Okay. Okay. And then you might need to make a little hole for your little beak to go in. Another cute little penguin. Now, do you want to build a snowman? We're going to do that with our cheese right here. So you're going to need three different sizes of cheese. So maybe a tiny one, a little bit bigger, and a little bit bigger, just like that. And then we're going to build our snowman. Okay, so first we're going to that in. And then on top of that one, be careful so you don't poke yourself with the toothpick. And then we'll put another one right on top like that. And now let's add his face. Now first we want to use one of our little carrots to put in here for his carrot nose. If you need to make a little hole with your toothpick, you can do that so it sticks in better. You can use markers. These are not regular markers. These are food markers. So don't use your regular food, your regular markers. So I can put some eyes on it. Little snowman. 
just like that. Now, if you don't have food markers, you can use some food coloring. I just put a little bit of food coloring right in a little cup, and I'm gonna use a toothpick, and then I can make this little mouth like that. And I could make some buttons. If you don't want to use food coloring, maybe you could get out a little jelly or something and see if you could stick it on. Now he needs some arms. So I'm going to use these little stick pretzels. And I'm going to little, dig a little hole here so it'll fit in better. There we go. Do you like building snowmen at your house? Okay, now if you want, you could use a grape for a little piece of grape to put a little hat on the top. Speaking of snowman, hi Omar, how are you doing? Good, it's great to see you. Well, Olaf is here for our family fun weekend. Welcome to Arendale. Okay, so he'll be here visiting us all weekend along with one or two of his friends, princess friends. So we hope you join us. Our family fun weekends are sponsored by Runza. Hope to see you there. <laughs> 